Hello guys, it is Crypto Grounds here. Welcome back to another video. Um, yeah, 500 subscribers. Woohoo! I have a um, I have a that 500 subscriber special coming out soon. I have finished recording it, but I decided I wanted to make this video first since it's been highly requested throughout my entire channel, and I finally got to making my own server-based leaderboard in Unity, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. I have my document right here it's got 50 freaking steps so it's gonna be a little it's gonna be a little annoying of a journey but anyways we will do that okay so what you're gonna want to do is sign up for an aws amazon accounts amazon web services so make sure you make an account i will kindly go through the I kind of go through the process of making an account. So you're gonna want your put in your email address, your password, and your account name, which is used to sign in. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go past here, but uh, so it'll ask you for a professional or uh, a personal user. I use professional. I don't really think it matters, but uh, I would recommend it's professional. And then you're also gonna get this picture right here you're gonna get this make sure you choose the basic plan and you should be good to go yes so you will once you make your account you will go to the dashboard let me close this real quick so let me sign in real quick so you will be brought to this screen right here the AWS management console so what you're gonna do is launch a virtual machine with EC2 you will get this dashboard right here. What you're gonna do is select the Amazon Linux 2 AMI, which is the first one. Make sure you choose the x86 archetype, or whatever it's called. And um, for testing purposes, I would choose T2 Micro. Um, all these settings should be good. Storage, that should be good. Actually here. Um, I think this is good. Yeah, this looks good. So the storage should be good. This honestly all should be good to go. And yeah. So once you launch it, hopefully I'll be able to remove mine. Let's see. Ah, okay, perfect. So you're gonna get the screen. So you wanna create a new key pair after all this is set up. And once you click launch, It'll, and yeah, create a new key pair, choose a name and download it and save it to a folder on your desktop. Now, I don't want to go through this process again because I already have it. See, I have mine right here. It's called cgaccess.pem. So make sure you download it somewhere. Uh, you'll remember it. Never lose it because you're going to need it maybe in the future if you want to make another instance or something like that. So anyways, I have mine set up already, so I'm not going to go through the process again. So um what's next oh yeah so you want to download putty so search up putty online you will get this right here and uh download the 64-bit it's the installer.msi you will run through the installation process and that should be pretty self-explanatory um then you want to launch putty gen what you want to do is load uh, your .pem file, so you won't see it here at first, but make sure you choose all files and open up this .pem and then once you load it, you know what, I'll load it here since I'm probably not going to use it. Okay, so once you open it in, you're going to have a key passphrase, so make sure you just type in two passwords and um that should be good to go you want to save as a private key save in the same spot as what you have your .pm fo uh, folder and you should be good to go um next you want to open up petty i meant putty i think that's how you pronounce it so what you want to do here is after you make your server you're going to want to go to your instances and click on your main one and copy this um, public DNS right here. And that's gonna go right here. 
Um, before that, make sure you type ec2-user at, and then your public DNS. Make sure you keep the port for 20, uh, make sure you keep the port to 22. That will be important for later. And, um, go to this SSH right here. Make sure you expand it by pressing the plus sign. Click on auth. Keep these settings except for allow agent forwarding. And then you're going to want to open. I've already done all this before. So, um, uh, yeah, we should be good to go. So you open it, you'll get this kind of console right here. And if you get a pop-up that says just like a some random alert, make sure you click ignore or just click uh, yes to ignore it. And what you want to type here is run. So you want to do want to type in sudo yum update. Y for yes. Okay, we're good to go for that. And then what you want to type is sudo yum install tmux. So what this does is that it basically allows you... So I already have it installed it, which is why I didn't show anything from you. Basically, it allows you to close everything. You don't have to touch it ever again. The server will be running endlessly on the back end on, at AWS. Very helpful. You don't have to keep this stupid console open at all times. So yeah, make sure you do that. Next up, um, start a new app. So you want to type new, uh, you want to do T-M-U-X, new, dash S, and choose a name. I'm just going to put name, uh, I'm just going to put serve, serve for server. Okay, so this will be our window, or our console that we will be interacting with. Uh, after that, let's see, where are we? I am looking at my instructions because there's no way in hell I can remember how to do this from scratch. Um, so when you do close this in the future, in order to resume back to this, you can do tmux a-t and then serve, and then, or serve, and you'll be back to where you were. So that's kind of convenient. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, alright, next. So you want to go to cyber dot, cyberduck.io, get it from, micro, uh, download for Mac OS Windows. Do not do this one because you'll have to pay for it. And you'll click the Cyberduck for Windows right here, which I already have it, so hopefully it won't install. Yeah, so you just run through the installer, and you should be safe there. Um, what's next? So, um, open CyberDuck. Yeah, allow. Okay. Okay. Um, so what you want to do is click open connection. And I want you to choose SFTP in the server. You're going to put... Um, where did it put? Oh yeah, for server, it's your DNS. So just put that in there. And for your username, it's ec2-user. And keep the port as 22. You don't need a password. And for your key, go click choose. Go to your, whatever you saved it. And choose that private key. So this is mine right here. New key with password. Okay. Oh, one very important step I totally forgot to do. So close all of this real quick. Uh, you can just do control C. Actually, no. Just close this. Totally, well, I totally forgot to do this one step. But you see this app right here? Pageant right here. Double click it. And you'll see this list right here. So what I want you to do is add a key. And I want you to add your new key with password. Make sure you add it to this list. And then you're safe to close. Um, so we're going to need to run putty again. Because I'm an idiot. And I totally forgot one step. Just do what we did before. Easy to user. I have my default settings right here. So I can just load it. You can save it too. Just in case you do need to load it again. 
Um, go back to auth, allow agent forwarding, open. There we go. We should be safe to go. And we can also do tmux a-t serve. There we go. See, we're back to where we were before. And it had our previous commands. I think that's just really cool and awesome, and in my opinion. Um, okay, so opening a connection. What was I doing? I think I stopped in the middle. Oh, it's right here. So yeah, make sure you choose your .ppk that you have created. Um, and then you click connect. Yep. So I'm not going to connect because I already have one connected. So on here, you need to install Node. So this is quite a com uh, combination of things to do. So I want you to type, when you paste it in here, you will need to right click it for it to, you know, continue to paste. Um, I'm dumb and I kind of, okay. Yeah, so just right click to paste. Oh, so copy or no, paste it. Control V. Why is it not working? So copy or just type down what I, yeah, just ignore what I'm saying. Just type down this command, enter. So I've already installed it, so I'm good to go. And then what you're going to type here is to activate node. Type that. Okay, you should be good to go. And then search and then type NVM install node. I'm not going to go through the installation process because I've already done it, but that's what you type. And now we need to install something called a yarn in order to access our server. So we're going to paste that in here. It's the curl uh, with the dash O. Make sure you copy everything exactly right because it will mess up. And then you'll press enter, but I don't need to do that because I already have it installed. And then what you need to do is you need to close this after you installed it. So do control B and then let go, and then type X, and then Y. And then you need to do tmux A-T serve. Oh, um, it's, it's, I forgot. We closed the session, so we have to make a new one. <laughs> so don't worry, it's not a big deal if you have to make a new one or not. So you do new-S serve. Here we go. We're back to where we were. The re control B and X that completely shuts down the our app. So we have to create a new one every time. And okay, so now we're gonna go back to our instances. We're gonna scroll down to security groups. Click on our launch wizard one right here. Go to inbound edit. And I want you to copy these two right here. This one you should have already, but I want you to make these two right here. So I'll take a look for a second while I get ready. Okay, and then you want to save. And then we are going to do yarn install. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to, yeah, see, it's already up to date. And then what we're going to do, we're going to create our strappy project, which is what we're going to be using our server for. Um, so we're going to go here. I want you to type yarn create strappy app my project. I don't want to make a new project because it's going to take a really long time to make it in here because you have such a slow server. It took me at least an hour. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I mean, it took me an hour to convert mine on my desktop to the server. So I don't know if installation will be the same, but I'm not going to go through that process because I don't want to wait an hour while I'm recording. But you type this command. And you should be good to go. Um, and then... Exit out of the project, so you're going to do the control B, control B, X, control B, X, Y, and then you're going to do tmux new as serve again, and then you're going to, you're going to go to CD, whatever your project name is, that's mine, and then I'm going to do type yarn start. So the reason why I wasn't able to start the the start the server properly is because I already have one running. So I don't so we're all good. Let me actually check just to make sure I actually have my server still running. Another thing is you don't want to share this URL with anyone. I've I've been blocking it out because I don't want anybody to see it. Oh right. You need to do I type in the port as well, which is thirteen thirty seven, which that's Strappy's port. 
And there you go. So here is where our stuff is being stored, just for an example. But yeah, so that's where mine is. Once you start it, you should be able to do slash. It won't go automatically, but I want you to put your DNS here, put the port, and then type admin. And then you should get a login here. Mine's mine's different because I already have an account, but I want you to create your account. Um, <clears throat> so let's. Uh, I'm gonna log in for me because I already have an account. Remember me? I mean, I already. Yeah. Um, okay, so your screen is gonna look a little bit different because I only have one content type. But first thing, you're gonna go to users, and I want you to add yourself. So add your username and your email that you use to log in. And you should be good to go. And then go to roles and permissions. Go to the public one right here. Also, sorry if I'm going really fast. I'm trying to make this a really short tutorial, so it's not an hour long. So you got to wait for me to explain something. I want you guys to be able to pause the video, continue, and I'll be at the next part. And there's no step I'm skipping here. I'm make sure I get everything. Okay, so for the events, I want so it'll look like this. So make sure you select all, and then you're gonna have to add a group. So make sure you add user. And if that doesn't show up, just add your username right here, so you're able to create events and stuff like that. Um, cancel because I've already done that. So go to content type builder. I'm gonna make a new one. I already have my events one right here. But let's create a new type and call it tutorial. Continue. So what we're gonna add to this tutorial is right here. So we're gonna add a text. This is gonna be our username. Make sure you keep it capitalized and make sure in your script it matches this too. Just just so you know ahead of time. Uh, add another field. We're gonna add a number. And I choose decimal since I use doubles. You could use strings if you wanted to. If you want to do, if you want to convert your big number, if you do big double, you can convert that to a string and submit it here. It works the exact same. But I'm gonna do number because that's how I do it. Um, I'm gonna do it money. Finish. So we have our two fields right here, and we should be able to refresh, and we should see that at the side right here. I don't know, where'd it go? Oh, shoot, I accidentally did something. I forgot to save it. Let me create it again. Username, add another field, number, coins. Finish, ah, shoot, decimal, finish, save. Okay, it didn't save for some reason. I don't know why. I think I'm allowed to have one content type only, but this is what yours should look like. It should be empty, so just ignore this right here. But this should be empty right now. Um, you can create a test one if you wanted to. You just go to add new events. Type in your username. Hi. And I put my number in here. I'm going to put 10. Save it up. That will be showing up on my leaderboard the next time I play my game. <laughs> so, yeah, it's cool. It updates automatically. And, yeah. So... So, the thing I'm going to show you what to, what to do next is go to your link... So when you want to see your data as a text, for me, since I made tutorial, I would search up tutorial. But for some for some reason, it didn't create. I'm just gonna use mine as events. But yours would be your name. Make sure it's all lowercase. And see here, there's my leaderboard. There's the hi that I made. And oh, another cool thing. So you see this ID right here, 56. You can go to slash offense 56. Oops. And you'll see this individual one right here. This will be used really useful for replacing uh, very uh, replacing numbers, like updating the leaderboard instead of having to add one every time, which I will explain later on. But yeah, so don't forget that this is lowercase right here. Let's see mine's events. I would choose one word also. Um, I think that's all I need to show you there. So let's now we can hop on Unity. Keep this open. You're gonna need it. So let's make a new. Um, let's use my idle game tutorial series, even though it's not part of it. Ah, shoot! No, I don't. Wanna, I don't want to use it. This is connected to the to GitHub. Rats! I didn't. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to start a new project. 
I'm going to make a new one called Leaderboard. <laughs> Making two projects now. Oops. But yeah, while we're waiting, my 500 is special. I am almost done with that. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a special cookie. I'm gonna tell you guys that. It's gonna be a good video. It should be fun. It's gonna be long, but I feel like that. It's it's a different video. It's something I haven't done before, but I feel like you guys should like it. Ah, uh, you saw my screw up. Oh no. <laughs> okay. So all right, let's create a canvas real quick. I I hate this is the part I hate. UI canvas UI text. We're just gonna make a we're just literally just gonna like make a very basic project. Cause I yeah, we don't we just need us we just need a little giant text. So this is how we're gonna format it. It should look like this. One name number 100 now the thing i'm not going to show you here is how to set your username because i've done that in one of my clicker hero tutorials so i'm going to have a uh, a name set already so every time we load we're gonna you know show it show what it looks like so here we need to make a script called we can just name it anything i'm just going to call it leader 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 b because i don't i mean i don't really don't care um Open up this script. So I'm kind of I'm gonna be kind of all over the place. So just be just be ready for this. Okay, so I'm gonna copy and paste a class that I've made on the side called leaderboard entry. We can get rid of ID because that's not really relevant. Actually, we we will need ID. <laughs> Never mind. Um. So yeah. So this will be our coins right here. Um. Leaderboard entry. That's be good. Now we need to copy and paste. This should be capitalized. This should be capitalized. We don't need ID. We are going to have two methods. I like starting from scratch. Public void start. We're gonna have our username be username be crypto grounds two crypto grounds two point oh. And our coins will be 146.7, just some random number. Um, public void update. Okay, so now let's let me hop down to my server oh, right here. I skipped. It. I'm at my leaderboard. Um. Okay. So we need to have. So we're gonna we're gonna make a few things. We need to have two more classes above this. Oh, we also need a using system as well in order to serialize this stuff. Okay, so Screw that. We're moving this to our main class. So we can put classes inside other classes if you didn't know that. So here you go. We should get no errors here. Replace this with coins. And actually, we don't need this leaderboard entry. I don't know why I still have that. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. Okay, so just get rid of that. <laughs> Sorry about that. See, I told you I'm going to be a little bit out of place. So just don't skip anything. And we need a string here. And I want you to put your DNS right here. So I'm going to paste mine. I'm going to block half of it out. Make sure you have the slash events too. And I'm going to I'm going to copy and paste method by method explaining what it does. So here's one right here. This is post to leaderboard. Ah, we need another one. Using Unity engine.ui for the text that we're going to use in the future and unity engine.networking. That'll give us ability to use Unity web 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 quest. <laughs> um, replace some of this data. So 
leaderboard data. Ah, shoot. Coins. This should be coins. Okay, replace coins with that. This should just be username. 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 Okay. Now let's see what's wrong here. I'm going to copy and paste all of these up here. I think we need system.link as well. So let's see. What do we not need in here? Yes, we need system link. I have a feeling. That gives us ability to use dot count as well. So these should be the four things you need. Uh, accidentally, de accidentally deleted UI. So... Honestly, I think we can delete this, but I'm just going to keep it because I, I don't want to retest that, honestly. So basically what it does is it grabs, it creates a new leaderboard data. It sets this, so it's an empty. It sets coins right here. It sets coins to zero. Or it, no, no, no. Yeah. So it starts with, everything starts with zero or blank. Um, it grabs the coins, which is going to be 146.7, which will be set here. And <clears throat> we don't say username yet because we don't need to do that yet. Yes, okay, perfect. Um, so then we're going to um, use JSON utility to JSON to convert this, um, to convert this whole thing into JSON, into a JSON string. And the reason why we don't want a username here is because we want to, it's because we want to do something here, which I'll explain in a second. And then we're going to convert this JSON string to a bunch of bytes, which is what Unity WebCrest will be able to use to send that, those bytes to the, to the server. And it's really cool how it works. But so we're going to create a, a Unity Web Request called Request. And basically this right here, it checks if the leaderboard, event leaderboard, um, if I'm trying to think, okay, hmm. I'm trying to think what I did here. Basically, it's supposed to check if leaderboard already has. See, yeah, so it checks if username already exists in this array, and if it does, then we will go to this for state uh, for statement right here. Which basically, this event leaderboard. Okay, I okay. I got myself confused for a second. I understand what's going on now. But this right here, this this will be grabbed later on. So you'll see where this comes from. But basically, there's a method that will grab the entire leaderboard and store it into an array. Okay. So it's gonna check my entire leaderboard to see if this our username Cryptograms 2.0 exists. If it does already, then we need to update that variable instead of creating a whole new one, or else we'll see two Cryptograms 2.0s. So we so that means it will go through this for loop where it will start from beginning, which is like the first entry to the last one. It'll check if any one of them is equal to user has the same username. If it's a duplicate, then basically we will we'll just completely delete it from the leaderboard. So we do that by doing request equals unity web request dot delete. We put our DNS right here. We add a slash and then the leaderboard dot ID. And that's cool because that's where we see this right here. See this slash 56? That is exactly what we're doing right here. So another thing I also want to share before I continue, these IDs they never reset. They don't go back to one. So every time I make a new ID, 57, oh, it would be 57. If I delete 57 and I create another one, it will just jump from 56 to 58. So it never decrements. It always increments, which is why I made this dot ID thing, because I don't want to, I don't want to go from one to seven. Like, I really wish I could and make the things a little bit easier, but that's why I put this dot ID here. And that's why I have, um, the ID right here. Um, anyways, so it will delete it. Now we'll go to the actual part. So if this doesn't happen, this is basically ignored. It's gonna complete, it's gonna make a new, so it basically deletes that duplicate and then it doesn't exist anymore. 
and then we set username to our username. We uh, we set JSON. We convert it to JSON again. We convert it to bytes again, and then we do um, a post instead. So we actually post it again. So we delete it, but then we post it with the updated coins, uh, which is which is what which is our goal. This took me so long to figure out. <laughs> it was actually kind of fun to make it. But yeah, so we had to do that. And then, um, yeah, chunk transfer, no idea what that does. So we want to set the content type to application.json, or application slash json. But there is a website I used where you can set, like, push data to it, to your DNS. And basically, there's different ways to do it. There's HTML, you can do HTML and stuff like that. So I did application.json, since that's what we're using up here. And then we ended off with request send or request.send web request, which basically updates it and we're good to go. Whew, that was a buckload. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to put this in the updates. Really, what I do for mine is that I do post to leadboard whenever someone completes a challenge or an event for crypto clickers. So do it. My advice is do it as less often as possible because you're paying you're paying money for that t2a dot a micro um server that i bought that you bought or you didn't really buy yet really I, I haven't spent any money yet i'm sure that will come after a year but you will i mean you don't want to you want to use as much data as possible because if you're gonna have a hundred thousand users it's it in posting every frame it's it's just not gonna look good. Your server will crash consistently. You'll be spending a bucket load of money. So you use this as let use it as least as blah. Use it as less as possible. Okay. So we should be safe here. You know, I just realized I might actually have to make a new one. You know. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm going to come back to my old script. I'm going to repaste time tokens this week. Even though it's supposed to be coins, but since I don't want to make a new one, I'm using time tokens this week. Okay. So, it's the same thing. Just replace yours with coins. Uh, I'm going to make a button. Or actually, we can just make a button that posts it. So, yeah, we're good there. So, next, we need to get our scores. And this is this method right here. Unity web request oh yeah, enumerator. Great. So what are we using here now? I think it's system.collections. Yes, it is. Okay, so now we should be able to use iEnumerators, which is required in order for get for this to work. Um so basically we're just we're just getting um retrieving our data from the DNS. And we yield return. I don't. I'm not really sure how to explain how this works. But if there's an error, it's gonna show an error, and it's not gonna update. Um, but basically, we're converting this download handler right here. That's basically our entire, like what I showed you earlier, it's the entire website. And then we convert it to JSON. Or actually, no, it's already in JSON. So we're gonna convert it from JSON into this wrapper method right here. So we're basically converting it back into event data right here. And then this line right here is very important. Basically, it takes this entire invent invent bleh, event data and it and it orders it from the highest number to the lowest. That's how we get that leaderboard ranking. Okay, so that's how we get uh, let's see what am I missing? Yeah, we need a leaderboard text. So just put that up there. <clears throat> so next. Yeah, sorry if I'm not making any sense. This is I'm not very I'm not very good with this. So paste this here. So this right here. Ah oh, shoot, why did I not copy copy it all? Okay, so basically, this star coroutine get scores will run this get scores right here. So another thing, you should really run this once a minute or so. 
or make it once every five minutes, but have a button that autom that that people can click to update it with a max with a minimum time of one minute, just so you can save space or speed and stuff like that. Um. So yeah, I'm just gonna put an update for now, just for testing. Um. So yeah, set the leader more text to blank. Um. Create a counter setting at one, and for each. Why is this like this? I don't. I don't know why it's doing that. It's not supposed to. Oh, right. There we go. Okay. So, for each data inside this um, event leaderboard right here, we're gonna grab. We're gonna start with the first. This is first place. So remember, we're going from highest to lowest. So it's already sorted right now. So we're gonna go to even data counter. We're gonna put a dot. We're gonna put the username, and we're gonna put our coins right here. And then we start a new line and we add to the counter and it continues. And I believe we are done. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, okay. We can test. So this is where things can go wrong. Okay. So this is our leaderboard text and our event leaderboard. We're gonna save, and we're gonna cross our fingers and play. So here's our leaderboard right now. What I wanna do real quick, I'm not gonna save it because this is just a quick button thing I'm gonna make. So we're gonna create a button right here. Make sure you're not in play like I am. I'm gonna add my canvas to this, go to leader B, and post to leaderboard, ready? There, there we are right there. So now if we post, Again, see how it updates like that? Instead of adding us twice, it just replaces it. So I'm actually going to add this button, like legit, so we can see. So canvas, leader B, post to leaderboard. So just put that right here. See how it saves? It always updates. And... Nothing can change it either. Okay, so we're gonna post again. Nothing happens. Now, let's make this time tokens 500. See how it updates? Now if we put one, now we're in last place. All right, so once again, make sure you um, create an AWS account. Make sure you create an instance, how like I have, like I did. Download Putty, download Cyberduck, you're using Strappy, you, you're, make sure you have your DNS with you at all times, because you're going to be using it a lot, make sure you don't show it with anyone else. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial, it's a lot shorter than I thought. Anyways, have fun, Wish you guys, I'm wishing you guys luck. If you guys have any questions, I probably can't help you because I had someone else help. So anyways, shout out to Number Engineer who made Incremental Unlimited. Incremental Unlimited. Let's go here. Eh, I don't want to go to the Reddit. Where is the Play Store? Right here. Who made this Epic game? So make sure you install the game on Android only. And yeah, thanks for watching. Download or uh, donate co donate to me on Kofi. Download my um. Download my oh, what's it called? Download download my project on Patreon if you're interested. This project will not be included just because. Um, you gotta watch the full video in order to understand what you're doing. And just, that's just, that's, you just gotta watch the full video. Yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Subscribe, like the video, turn on notifications. Yeah. Peace. Got me in this party all up in a zone. Hot as Betty's trying to take away my cell phone. Like, come and party. I've been trying to shake you off my mind, but just can't get you off me. Keep it moving. They ain't worth it. Yeah, that's what my father taught me. But for now, I'm going through the motions of letting go. Because my mind's telling me yes, but my heart really don't know. Your heart went dark out of nowhere, yet I still see a glow. So we had the hottest love. Why'd you leave me in the cold?